Richard Pusey, the Porsche driver at the centre for the Eastern Freeway crash in Melbourne last year, has been sentenced. Patrick Murrell is at the county court in Melbourne. Patrick, what did the ju judge actually say during sentencing? Flash, judge Trevor Wright described Richard Pusey's conduct as heartless, cruel and disgraceful as he sentenced him to 10 months in jail. Pusey had pleaded guilty to a number of charges, including reckless conduct, endangering injury and outraging public decency. That last charge for filming four police officers as they lay dying on Melbourne's Eastern Freeway last year. Here's Judge Wright describing Richard Pusey's conduct during those few minutes as he sentenced the man earlier. A normal human reaction of a person coming upon a scene like this would likely be to immediately telephone Triple O. What you did, however, <clears throat> was film the scene with a running commentary which on one view may be described simply as bizarre behaviour in the circumstances. It can also be described as extremely insensitive and heartless. Ash, outside court, family members of the victims killed in the Eastern Freeway tragedy were visibly emotional, in tears as they reacted to and reflected upon the sentence handed to Richard Pusey. Stewart, the husband of leading senior constable Lynette Taylor, who was killed in the crash, said that the charge of outraging public decency wasn't the only thing outrageous about today. Every time a media outlet makes a reference to this offending, it is always in reference to the filming of a dying police woman. There was only one, she was my wife. And every time that com commentary is made, it tears at my heart and soul, and the pain is almost unbearable. I've, I find it to be outraging public decency that a more appropriate sentence was not imposed by this court and it has now set such a bar that this type of offending is almost impossible to reach that level. He is a worthless individual that lacks any human trait uh, that would be and should be and is a feature of the Victorian community at large. That was Wayne Gatt from the Police Association of Victoria there. Ash, Richard Pusey uh, may walk free in just over a week. He has been handed a sentence, of course, of 10 months in jail, but he's already served 296 days. So there's just six days left to go. That doesn't mean he'll walk free right after that, as he will remain on remand, uh, charged with a number of other offences for separate, unrelated, alleged crimes. But his lawyers have indicated that once he completes this particular sentence in just over six days, he may reapply for bail in the magistrate's court. And if he's successful there, he'll walk free. Yeah, we'll watch further developments there closely. Patrick Murrell, thank you.